Newton's central difference interpolation. What is Newton's central difference interpolation? Newton's central difference interpolation is used when the expected value is near to the center. It's pretty clear from the word central which means that something in the center or in the middle. In Newton's central difference interpolation, the reference point is going to be in the center. As we have seen that in forward difference interpolation, the initial point was the reference point. In backward difference interpolation, the reference point was the last point. But here, the reference point is at the center. In Newton's central difference interpolation, we take the value near to the center as the reference, going either backward or forward. Now, this is something very important, that in Newton's central difference interpolation, when you pick the reference point in the center, you can go either backward or forward, it's up to you, which means that both forward and backward interpolations can be applied. As you have seen here that this is going to be my reference point, the middle point is my reference point. I can also pick any other reference point as long as it lies somewhere around the center. So from here I can go either forward or backward. In central difference interpolation, the interval between two consecutive points is equally spaced. It's exactly what we had for Newton forward and Newton backward. There's a 10 degree difference between two consecutive points. 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. So the difference between two consecutive points is equally spaced. We can also use Newton's forward and backward here, but it's easy sometimes to use central interpolation process to calculate the value near to the center. Well, I have already discussed this point in the previous lectures that it's not compulsory that you must use forward or backward as central interpolation. You can use backward for the forward, forward for the backward, or backward for the center. But the thing is that sometimes when you don't use a relevant interpolation, the things get a little bit lengthy and complex compared to what you have the relevant interpolation. So my suggestion will be to choose the relevant interpolation. This is one point. And the other point from here is clear that why we introduce central interpolation process. In the upcoming lecture, you will see that its table is different compared to what we have for forward and backward. Its formula is different. Let me show you in the next lecture.